What is up, everybody? I'll tell you what. This is episode number five of Union India Sierra. Brought to you by your boy, Sonny. And i tell you what. I'm having the absolute best time that I could possibly imagine. Um, i tell you what. Bomb City Grammar is kicking off in a couple days. And that should be... Like the greatest, coolest thing ever. We are, we are looking forward to it. We are excited. We got a peak couple of people going there. We got people doing that thing, and that is going to be more fun than I can possibly imagine. It's all going to come right straight down to the wire, and we are on the buzzer beater schedule. That is what's making that so great. Um, as you can tell, the sun's just now going down on another hot, hot day, and um. Kind of can't wait for, uh, you know, good old fashioned Halloween to get here because I know it's going to be a little mite cooler. And that's fine. I have to find me a sweater uh, to go underneath my Halloween costume. Yes, 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 I am 800 years old and I am still in the definite pattern of wearing Halloween costumes. I want a Halloween costume because I think it's only fair if I want to get the big old fashioned almond joy, then I should be wearing a great big old costume. That is only right and that is only cool. But I tell you guys, oh, big old, big old stuff. Not only bomb seat going off, but this week has also brought a couple other things. I thought, I thought UIS. Um, like this would only be kind of like a talking type, uh, what's going on type deal. But turns out, I started thinking about it and I was like, hey, you know, I could do UIS plays. So, what did I do? I converted uh, UIS into UIS plays. And, um, you know, I kind of talked about it on my main channel. And it was kind of funny that uh, I got down to, I got down to uh, what could be you know, brass text about the whole deal. And I thought, well, that's a little interesting, kind of, because um, I've got the U I've got the UIS thing, and then uh, beyond that, I've got the, you know, Sunny in the Show deal. I'm not going to give up on the Sunny in the Show deal, but the UIS, um, I just changed it into UIS Plays. And I thought, you know, that'd be kind of weird if... Um, you know, usually if you say something, you know, and they have a place in the end of your name, it always comes down to, um, you know, you're playing a video game. Uh, you're doing walkthroughs walk of, you know, like, say, Minecraft or, or Roblox or, or um, you know, something like that, Fortnite maybe. But me, personally, I want to do UIS plays and just sit down with a guitar and um, just kind of jam for a little bit. And I know sometimes it would sound bad. And sometimes I'm, like, I'm gonna come up with a, a really cool, uh, cool idea. You just have to, when you do stuff like that, you just have to keep pushing. You have to keep uh, finding new things. A little lesson that I uh, learned from Jenny Page. He was the master, and, uh, the master of uh, invention, I guess you'd say, because he would just jam and jam and jam, and he'd play something that was odd. Well, when you play something odd uh, twice, it's not odd anymore. It's uh, it's what it is. And that's that's what I appreciate most about Jimmy Page. And the rest kind of goes on down through um, several other guitarists of that nature. Um, Slash and Joe Perry and Lenny Kravitz and you know lots of improvisational guitarists just exactly like that. Um, and that's what I took up with. Not to mention the master himself, um, the, the, the man who holds all the keys, uh, Mr. Tony Iommi, and I think he was kind of cool, but that's what it is, that's what UIS is all about, UIS plays is going to be just me and a guitar, and you don't have to listen to me singing, because I sound like, you know, uh, something horrible that happened, uh, somebody's popping popcorn during a train wreck, and, uh, that's what, huh, that's basically what my singing voice sounds like, uh, and I'm like, there goes a plane that flies overhead, that was nice, um, but, but I tell you, um, we just shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't sit still, we shouldn't do that at all, um, 
But I figured what could be a break, you know, what could be a complete change of pace from Bomb City. And uh, what a better change of pace than to uh, just, you know, jabber on and, and uh, you know, do whatever, say whatever comes to your mind. Just kind of, uh, you know, spewing out thoughts kind of an idea. Uh, what could be better break from that? And I figured something that was kind of funny was, um, you need a break, though. You need it. You need a completely alternate deal. Um, there was a, several, several years ago, I was talking to this accountant named Mike. And, uh, he was telling me all kinds of stories. And he, I think he told me every single story that he could tell me. And I don't think he ever mentioned one single word about accounting. He told me about tennis, and he told me about swimming. He told me about race cars, and he told me, I mean, it was just like everything he told me was just like, you know, at some point, and I wondered, does this guy actually know anything about accounting? Um, but I figure that you, you need something. You, you need a little something to to do that. And um, this is going to be my, my deal. Um, but I tell you what, there's about 10... Uh, YouTubers that I watch on a regular basis. The uh, the main one that I'm watching right now is Unspeakable, and uh, I tell you what, um, Nathan, you are a lifesaver in in several different ways. Um, just being goofy and being funny, it, it kind of shows me that um, huh, we don't have to be uh, serious about anything. And you know, I kind of started out watching Mr. Beast, and, and you know, kind of figure out how to interact and how to talk around. People on how to, uh, you know, film and how to do setting the show and how to do all this stuff. And, and um, you know, that led me into kind of like, you know, great. I went to ZHC and Miss Munchie. And, and I know I've talked about all this stuff a hundred times before, but it's just fun. It's just really weird. And uh, I picked up Unspeakable after that. And Unspeakable, of course, led me into uh, Keiko Spark and, and, uh, several several different things and and um there and then there was a completely opposite thing of that and there was of course sometimes I had to sit down with Vegetarian and sometimes I had to sit down with uh, Dame Drop and it was just like I was always finding something cool and I was always finding something new to uh, to rock with and um highly entertained, you know, and I will tell you what I love those guys and they they're not just entertaining me. They're actually, in some ways, they're teaching me how to interact um, with humans. And um, I tell you what, they're doing a great, great service for um, an old uh, old autistic kid like me that um, I can't quite figure out how to, you know, get along. And, uh, of course, I, I think I've, I've mentioned that... Uh, Sometimes in my brain, I don't feel like I'm from this planet. Uh, I feel like I'm from somewhere completely different because I um, I don't fit in here. I'm not like anybody else um, that I've ever met. Um, and really and truthfully, I would rather be like uh, my puppy than I would rather be like any other human being. Just kind of wag your tail and ask for food and, you know, lick somebody on the face. Uh, that's kind of the way that I'd want to be like that. But um, I want y'all to look for it. I want y'all to uh, watch out for me. I want y'all to watch my back because uh, we got an awesome thing coming up. This is, uh, of course, this is episode five. I'm going to do one more episode of this plain old flat uh, Union Indie Sierra, and then I'm going to go to UAS Plays. And uh, about three times a week, I'm going to just, uh, I'm just sit and, and jam. Maybe turn the lights down low and uh, have a little bit of fun, you know. Make it more about uh, music than than to be about the random oddball thoughts that are coming out of my mouth. Um, and that's great. You know, setting the show should be all about me just talking, uh, blathering on, like a monkey in a tree, like I like to do. But um, you know, that's the whole thing. Let's get this. Let's get this going. Let's have some fun with this. I'm I'm ready to play. Um, you know, the old beards. It's getting to the point where I like it, and uh, I know I kind of cut it 
short and it's kind of odd to look at, but um, I'm the beard guy. And uh, but I'm running out of time. Of course, I'm running out of breath. I love you guys. Um, and I appreciate you all very much. But stick with me. Hang with me. Let's um, let's do something funny. You know, let's uh, let's show the six o'clock people what we're really all about. Um, you know. Let's show them that we're really all about more than just hokey pokey. Because uh, they think that's what it's all about. I don't even want to think about that. But um, i tell you what, guys. I'm going to get out of here and get running. Um, there's about a hundred things I can do. I'm going on dinner break right now. Uh, but I love you. So, behave yourselves. Uh, I'm out.